did Obama's position give the FCC cover? That, I think that's exactly true. So the weird thing about this issue is pretty much everyone in America agrees that the internet should be open and free. And the court decision, that the last court decision on net neutrality in January, made it clear that Title II was necessary to do net neutrality. So four million people have filed comments to the FCC. Startups, churches, you know, uh, artists. There's just been a huge outpouring, comedians, you name it. And only three or four companies are opposed to it. You know, Comcast, AT&T, Verizon, Time Warner Cable. Those companies are really opposed to Title II. And bec but the, the reason why this has been a 10-year fight is because those companies are so incredibly powerful at the Federal Communications Commission. They are extremely powerful in Congress. And they're really the main constituents that it seems as though the Federal Communications Commission usually listens to. And what Barack Obama's statement did is it essentially sided with everyone on the planet other than those four companies and the, the large providers saying you should do the right thing without any loopholes. And so it was both cover for the FCC and kind of a nudge that really you guys should be listening to everyone but the usual players because everyone is in agreement that the future of the economy rests on an open internet and the future of free expression rests on an open internet and we shouldn't let some parochial interests of a few small of a few companies however big and important they are really influence the entire economy uh, globally.